What's going on everyone? It's Joe DeLongware. Just a quick video for you guys here today. Just wanted to show off one of these nozzles right here by Underhill. So let's get started. Now before we begin and I show you how this thing works, again, I am not affiliated with Underhill. They actually sent this out to me. They saw my content. They thought maybe I could use this in some videos and things like that. And honestly, I really love this thing. So what I'm gonna do, throw it on the hose and show you how it works. So obviously the first thing I'm gonna need is a hose and they actually sent me out a hose as well. This is their three quarter inch hose. It's actually a hundred foot long, which is awesome. It's made in the USA. You can see that right there on the hose. Love that, love supporting companies that have things made in home right here in the United States and not overseas, which is awesome. So I actually really like this hose. Now I've had a lot of hoses over the years, retractable hoses, just hoses that run to my pool in the back to fill it up. And this hose is just really sturdy. And when you roll this up, it really does not kink. And let me show you. So as you can see there, I just had that small little kink at the end, uh, reeling this up into this nice little circle right here. I don't have a hose cart for it right now. Um, I might get one in the future, but for now, you can see it really wasn't that hard to re you know, reel this up into this nice little circle. There's no water in it, so it's a lot lighter than it would if it did have water in it which is great but you know it's a little bit more flexible but as you can see you just twist it a little bit you get this nice little circle it's very easy to get that kink out if there's a kink in there i really don't really experience any kinks in this hose which is great um i wish somebody would make a three uh three quarter inch retractable hose reel i can understand why they don't because the you know three quarter inch hoses are heavier you know i do have a hose reel it, it a retractable hose reel it's but it's a half inch you know, you push more water through a three quarter inch as opposed to a half inch. And my PSI at my house is, it, it's, it sucks. But nothing I can do about that uh, unless I got some kind of electrical pump system, but I'm not gonna go there. Um, we have to, we just deal with what we have. But like I said, this was super nice, super easy. I really like this hose so far. So just to give everybody a baseline reading today, I just wanted to put a pressure gauge up here and again, show you how bad my PSI is at my house for my water pressure. And again, you can see it's 40 PSI. It, it meets the needs, it meets the standard needs of our township, which is hard to believe, but it does. I, our My sprinkler system, you guys know, this is not a conventional water system. This is the sprinkler line that I use, hooks up to my manifold down there. It's not a conventional system. I would not do it again, but you know what? I wanted to try something different. I wanted to do it myself. I dug the trenches myself. It took a long time, but you know what? My grass is green. It looks great. The fall overseed, everything came in real nice. Uh, you know, the, the seed stayed moist. The grass came in real good and I could not be happier. Um, but again, you know, you live and you learn and that's all you can do when it comes with the grass, doing anything around your house. But again, 40 PSI, so everyone's PSI is gonna be different. So that's what my reading is today. So let's get started with the test. Right here is the Underhill Precision Nozzle. Now this is a 15 gallon per minute nozzle. Obviously that's gonna vary based off of hose size, PSI, things like that. So we're just gonna do it based off of my PSI. We know my, mine is 40 PSI. Five gallon bucket right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure it up to the one gallon mark right here on my stopwatch and we're gonna see how fast it puts out. Yeah, that came out wrong. Let's just see how quickly it comes out. This is a little bit harder than it looks. So right here we have five seconds and 45 seconds to get one gallon. So I'm gonna do that a couple more times. It's just to see, we're gonna average out how quickly it does one gallon. So this time I went up to two gallons just to make it a little bit easier to shut it off. And it was 11 seconds, let's just say 12 seconds to fill up two gallons of water. Let's do it one more time up to the two gallon mark and see what we get. So that time I was at 11.42 seconds. So I'm gonna do it one more time, see where we're at at two gallons. It is a little bit harder. There's so, it's just coming out so fast. It's a little bit harder to read it at the two gallon mark and shut it off exactly. So again, this is not gonna be precise. So 
So that one was 12.34 seconds. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna meet it in the middle at 12 seconds. We're gonna call it even there. Again, this is not precise. This is not some exact signs that we're doing here. So obviously we did two gallons at 12 seconds. So uh, simple math, all we gotta do is figure out, if we wanna figure out, obviously six, uh, one gallon would be six seconds. If we wanna figure out how many gallons per minute, we just do the 60 divided by the six. So obviously I'm getting about 10 gallons per minute. So it's a little bit below that 15 gallons per minute mark, but 50, 10 gallons per minute is plenty. Especially if you're doing spot spraying like I'm doing because of mistakes that I did on my lawn. I'll show you what I'm talking about here right now. So the section of the lawn that I messed up was right here. And what happened was is I over applied iron in this section. I probably wasn't paying attention to my spray pattern, which is very important to do. And I over applied it. And what happened was is it turned into a grayish color. It almost looked like the grass was actually dying, as you could see here. And what I did was is I reached out to the Thirsty Thursday guys again, Ryan DeMay, he helped me out. He said spot water these uh, areas and you'll, you'll see it come back. And what do you know, it is, it, it really did. It really has come back. And what I was been using was that precision nozzle because it gets down a lot of water in a quick amount of time. So all I gotta do is come out here, water it down real quickly, and I'm good to go for the day. So I'm gonna show you what I meant by getting that water down in a quick amount of time with that precision nozzle. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how quickly this gets water down on this little cement area right here. So check this out. And just like that, that area is completely watered, which is gr awesome. I mean, you can see there, I'll go right back over here again to the sidewalk and turn it on. I mean, you can see how quickly that water gets out and disperses. Look at all that area that it covers. Just that quick. So I had a problem area over here as well, and watch how quickly this just gets this water down. I mean, you're putting out some serious amount of water in a quick amount of time, which is awesome. And there you have it, the Underhill Precision Nozzle. And again, I'm not affiliated with Underhill in any way. They just sent me this nozzle to use. They saw my content. They thought I could use this in my yard. And you know what? I really like this thing. It really came in handy when I over applied that iron. I was able to spot spray those areas so I didn't have to water everything in my yard, just those certain areas. I was able to get down that quick amount of water like this thing does. Again, I was able to get down 10 gallons per minute at my house. It's gonna vary wherever you're at and what your PSI is. But for me, that's really great. So I don't have to spend a ton of time in the yard. I can get out there, put that water down and keep going if you have any questions on today's video leave it down in the comment section below and i'll get back to you if you enjoyed today's video or if you like today's video make sure you smash that like button it really does help out with the channel and if you're interested in any of my other content i'm available on instagram i'm available on tiktok joe go check me out there and like always guys i'll see you in the next one man that's sweet